Widgets are an awesome feature of Android and provide you with quick access to the information you need right from home screen. Your device has probably got a bunch pre-installed, but you might want something that looks different. HD widgets will give you endless possibilities when it comes to customization. Fortunately, it has a randomize button, which will quickly create a few designs for you. It offers widgets in all sizes that will suit every single device out there. It costs $2 and in my opinion, it's worth every single penny. Have you ever wished that you had access to a doctor at all times and could get specialist answers to your questions? Well, you're in luck, cause HealthTab gives you answers and tips from 50,000 US doctors. There are no waiting rooms and it's completely free. You can browse a huge database with all the information that you may need and as the, the users ask more questions, it gets bigger and bigger by the day. Navigating the app is super easy and you should find your way around in just a few minutes. It's also a perfect educating tool for nurses and medical students. One of the most desired features of Android is the ability to backup apps and especially the app data. It used to only be available to root users, but an app called Hilio from brilliant developers from Clockwork Mod team changed the situation. The app will let you easily backup the data of all your apps and if you pay $5 for the premium version, you will be able to sync backups to one of your cloud accounts, such as Google Drive, Box or Dropbox. This is truly a must-have if you are upgrading to a new device. Android has this annoying feature where you try to set an image as a wallpaper, it needs to be cropped, so that it fits in both vertical and horizontal position. There is no way to override that setting even when you have just one screen. Fortunately, image to wallpaper will let you adjust the image the way you want it. Of course, when scrolling through multiple screens, there will be white or black areas, but if you just use one screen, this could be the solution for you. I've been using it for a while and it works flawlessly. And to make it even better, it's absolutely free. IMDB is an all-in-one place to find information about movies, TV shows and celebrities. It lets you check ratings and opinions about different titles and provides different charts such as top rated movies of all time or most popular celebrities of the day. Additionally, you can view actor biographies and it provides you with the latest entertainment news from hundreds of media outlets. If that wasn't enough, you can watch movie trailers and it will provide you with showtimes in theaters near you. The app is beautifully designed and optimized for both phones and tablets. Many devices with Android have a multicolored notification light. Unfortunately, the software does not let you adjust how it lights up. Fortunately, Lightflow comes to the rescue. The app is available in the Play Store in a free light version and also the full with more settings. It lets you not only adjust the color of the various notifications such as a new email, SMS or low battery, but also its duration. If your device does have an LED notification, Lightflow is a must-have. Linkbubble is one of the newest apps that made it to my top 50. Inside the app settings you can select an application inside which it should replace the default browser. Once that's set you can also select two apps to be used in shortcut bubbles such as for example Pocket and Whatsapp. Now just navigate to the app that you've set and once you click on any link you will see that it loads in a little bubble on the side while you can carry on browsing. You can also drag it over one of the sharing bubbles that you've set in settings. The app is free but there is also a pro version which will let you load infinite tabs. Maps from Google are perhaps the best map and navigation app that you've ever seen. Not only can you browse through a map of the whole world, but it also lets you put layers such as traffic or satellite view. That's not all though. It also has a built-in navigation. Just search where you want it to go and choose how you want to get there and it will show you the best route with estimated duration of travel. Press navigate and you'll be taken into a full-blown navigation from Google. The step-by-step -step comments will make sure that you don't get lost. And all of this is free. If you want to watch movies on your Android device, you'll need a good media player, as the stock app will not support all file formats. MX Player is my number one video player on Android. It supports all video formats and you have loads of decoding options for video as well as audio, and you can also display subtitles during playback. The app is simple to use, has gesture support and lots of features, but what's most important is that it won't fail you. It is also completely free.
Does your phone come with a built-in NFC module? If it does, you'll need an app to program your NFC tags, which are its simplest use. The best one out there is NFC Tools. It has a well laid out design and will get the job done in just a few simple steps. Just go to the right tab on the top and select what you want to be present on your tag from the list. Then insert the data that you want, press right and touch your tag with the NFC module. And that's the job done. NFC Tools is free in the Play Store.